Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing fine. So most of you would have been to restaurants where you have tried the chicken and sweet corn soup. It's a very lovely soup. So if you haven't tried it, do try it. It's one of my favorite, my most favorite soups. So I'm gonna just uh, try and make the chicken and sweet corn rice today. So stay tuned, watch and enjoy and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lovely videos and recipes. Take care. Bye. Oh my god everyone, so it's getting winter and uh, cold here in Brisbane. So it's time to, you know, keep warm having those lovely stews and soups and food items that give you such comfy vibes. So let's head to the kitchen. So yeah, I've got about 500 grams of chicken pieces with the bone in them. You can use boneless chicken, shredded chicken. Uh, so whatever you prefer according to your personal preference. So yeah, I like the bone, so I'm just putting... Uh, the chicken with bone. I have got two onions. So I'm just going to peel, wash and slice up the onions. There we are. So the onions are nicely peeled and washed. So you can chop it up into small pieces or slice it up. There we are everyone. So I've chopped up the onions into small dice pieces along with two large red chilies. Now the chicken takes slightly longer than the rice to cook. So I'm going to put this off into the rice cooker and start boiling it with half a cup of water. Add in the chicken pieces into the rice cooker and I'm going to add in about 420 grams of cream corn. You can even add in the sweet corn kernels if you want to. I added in the creamed corn and I'm going to season it with some salt and cracked pepper. And I'm also going to chop roughly and add in three lemon myrtle leaves to give it a nice lovely flavor. So that will give it a nice, fresh, zesty flavor. And then we can go ahead and add in half a cup of water. Just flavor it with about one tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of white vinegar. One teaspoon of cinnamon powder. One chicken stock cube. And this is optional. Normally Indians put the meat masala and things like that. But I'm going to put this Japanese curry mix. It's by... S and B, you get it. If you're in Australia, you get it at any local supermarket. So I'm gonna put that in. This is the hot one. You can see they come in cubes like this and I find it's quite tasty when I add one of them into any curry that I make. So just gonna add that in there too. So you can see the amount of flavors that's going into this dish and there's more to be added, including uh, garlic paste and things like that. But for now, we are gonna cook this chicken. So with half a cup of water and it's gone into my rice cooker. Actually, I just took off the lid. I'm going to give it a good mix. Let it combine nicely. And then we can cook it. So there we are. See, nice chicken and sweet corn flavor. With some of our added special touches. Here I'm heating up a pan with a little bit of peanut oil. And then we can fry up our onions. And then once the onions turns brown, we can add in the red chilies. I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt. So once it turns translucent and the raw smell goes away, we can add in one tablespoon of garlic paste into that. There we are. So in goes the garlic paste. And then I went ahead and added in the red chili that we chopped up. Now in terms of masala and spices, I'm just going to add in one teaspoon of garam masala and half teaspoon of coriander powder along with half teaspoon of cumin powder. There we are. And then to enhance the flavor, I added in one cup of capsicum. So different colors, the green, red and yellow capsicum. There we are everyone. So adding in the capsicum definitely gave it that lovely burst of colors. So I've just taken it off the heat and set it aside. Because you don't want to cook it for too long. You don't want the capsicums to, you don't want the capsicums to go soggy. It's still got to maintain its texture. So here we are. So set it aside and now I'm going to wash up the rice and keep that ready. So once our chicken is nicely cooked up, we can add in the rice and cook it all up together along with this little lovely masala that we prepared that's nice and flavorsome. So one cup of nicely washed basmati rice. So to cook one cup of rice, I normally use two cups of water. All right, everyone. So the pressure cooker, I mean, the rice cooker light has gone from cooked to warm. But when you open it, you can still see that there's a lot of water content in here along with the chicken. Mm, that smell of the lemon myrtle is amazing. So you can see all this water that's come out of the chicken. So definitely there's going to be, you know, slightly more than one cup of water in here. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in the rice. And I might just add in half a cup of water because we don't need too much. Look at it. It's already got a lot of water in here. Doesn't look like the water has evaporated. You know, I added one, I mean, half a cup of water initially, but it looks like it's doubled in the quantity with all the liquid oozing out of the chicken. So this is nice, lovely stock. It smells so nice, lovely and flavorsome. So we can add in the rice, half a cup of water and the masala that we made. So in goes the masala. I'm just going to mix it nicely. So that'll give it a nice lovely color. Because before it was looking a bit dull and lifeless. Though the flavors are amazing. But still. Now it's got that nice lovely look as you can see. Same goes the one cup of basmati rice. Half cup of water. And I'm going to give it all a good mix nicely, combine it all together and then I'm going to place it back on cook until the rice is nicely cooked. As you can see it's looking nice, lovely and flavorsome. It smells so good too in my kitchen. I always say it smells good but how are you guys going to know what it smells like isn't it? That's a limitation of doing it virtually, but here we go. But do try it at home. I'm sure you'll love it. So just going to put back the lid and cook it. I just opened it halfway through to give it a mix together. And you can see, look at it. So flavorsome. It's looking nice and lovely. Sort of like chili chicken because we did add in the capsicum and onions. But it's much more flavorsome than that. It's got the sweet corn and everything. So yeah, our chicken and sweet corn rice is slowly taking shape, but I don't want the steam to be lost, you know, I'm just going to put back the lid and cook it. So let it nicely cook completely. When you're cooking it, try maximum not to take off the lid, but I just wanted to show. But sometimes it's good to, you know, give it a good mix around and combine everything nicely together. Make sure that, you know, it's taking shape well, but ideally, yeah, you don't want to lose steam as well. So it's a... Uh, you know hard situation and decision to make but i just did that because i wanted to make sure everything is going on smoothly i wanted to check the taste to make sure everything is right and then now it can just comfortably sit there and cook up in the steam so the other thing i noticed is that the water is almost evaporated but the rice is still chewy so i'm going to add in another half a cup of water into that to just assist it to cook so totally along with the rice, I added in an extra uh, total of one cup of water because initially I added in half and now I went ahead and added in another half just to assist it to cook nicely because the rice is still a bit too chewy. And there it is everyone. So it's nice and lovely. It's all ready. Our chicken and sweet corn rice. Look at it. So flavorsome. It smells so good. Look at the chicken. It's so so tender and delicious so yeah i'm going to plate it up look at the side my mouth is watering i can't even complete what i'm going to say i don't know if it's a smell it would be the smell but you know i've tasted it i've made sure everything is perfect including the seasoning you know the only thing maybe i might add once i plate it up is before i start eating would be a little bit more cracked pepper but the salt and flavors and everything is just correct. It's just amazing. It's lovely. And the chicken pieces are like so tender. It's just literally falling off the bone sort of a consistency. Look at that chicken drumstick, the chicken leg piece. So yeah, see, it's just look at that flesh falling off the bone. So we don't want to squash it. Just going to plate it up now. But yeah. So there it is everyone. So I plated up this lovely baby. You can see the rice, the red chili, capsicum, the chicken. So tender, you know, this chicken. Look at it. It's so juicy and succulent and steamy. So I uh, sprinkled on some parsley. And I'm just uh, adding some soy sauce. Just, you know, for the plating. It's good when you have good plating as well. So... Yeah, look at it. Just got a, it's got a little bubble on it. Ooh. Okay, I'll just fix that up. But look at it, everyone. Look at this. 
lovely side look at that chicken perfectly seasoned you know the right amount of salt and everything oh it's like chili chicken but it's got that corn and see the corn so it's just a different version of the sweet and i mean sweet corn and chicken soup it's like the chicken and sweet corn rice instead of the chicken and sweet corn soup oh that bubble's gone off by itself yeah same when the plating is done now look at it and it's funny you know guys because i live in australia and half of the dishes i cook up at home is so yummy compared to what they have at the restaurants you know the options here and plus it's fresh and it's homemade you know so I, and you guys see how i cook it literally so <laughs> what more can i say you know i do wish i had the means to start up my own restaurant or something and you know share this with you guys because unless you know you're my friend or somebody who visits me you guys don't get to taste it and luckily you know even my friends who tasted my food they say it's yummy so you know what more can i say like i wish i could apart from virtually even let you guys taste it but for now this is the only option but this is our simple humble dinner for today you know things that i cook up at home i share it i also share the recipe with you guys so obviously you know it's not fully limited you guys can definitely try it at home you can cook it up so yeah this is just a simple chicken and sweet corn rice that i've cooked up hope all of you enjoyed this lovely video so i'll also show you guys how it looks like when you dig in so you can see it's nice and lovely look at the rice it's just falling apart you guys and look each mouthful is so flavorsome and that's just how i like it so creamy you know it's got the sweet corn and capsicum onion so many things we put in there the chicken see it's just literally falling off the bone look at it so lovely and juicy well cooked succulent steamy so this is the sort of food i just love look at it each mouthful is so flavorsome so definitely i love the chicken and sweet corn soup and this is one you know it's a different level altogether it's on a totally different level this chicken and sweet corn rice so do try it everybody look at it look at that chicken so mouth wateringly delicious who wouldn't want to dig into this lovely dinner plate isn't Me. it <laughs> and my son is really impatient so i better wind up this video though i can't stop looking at it oh it's just so lovely but yeah so this is when i like to say guys let the food do the talking you know i don't have to do the talking the food does all the talking by itself look at it look at that sweet corn and ooh look at it everyone see look at this 360 degree view i'm giving you guys this is another view so even my son is impatient now he wants to just dig in and eat this lovely dish but you know i'm just taking my time to record this video up so i can share maximum what i can with you guys look at it everyone it's just so flavorsome so delicious isn't it when you get a plate like this that's so colorful it smells so good it tastes so good it's so flavorsome it's got the right quantity or you can even take more if you want to in terms of serving it's nice hot and steamy so creamy and so delicious what more could you ask for <laughs> anyway so apart from that here it is everyone our lovely chicken and sweet corn rice is ready subscribe to my youtube channel for more lovely videos and recipes take care enjoy bye let's go say bye say bye 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 <laughs> Hope all of you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lovely videos and recipes. Take care. Bye. Cool, handsome, awesome. Cool, delicious, yummy. That's the best. I want to eat it. Cool, yummy, delicious, cool.
Goodness shots. 